Hey everyone! So in this video, I'm just going to be talking about some of the things that I have already done over the summer, even though I've been out of school for only about two days, and some of the, the, some of the things that you could possibly do to celebrate the end of the school year. Uh, so right after finishing exams, well, me and my friend, we finished our econ exam at the exact same time. So we walked out, uh, we grabbed some food. It was Korean-American fusion food. Uh, that's where I got my kimchi burrito last time, and this is where I got my kimchi burrito again. Uh, and then I was really, really full, but then she coaxed me into uh, purchasing ice cream, only $1 a scoop at John's Ice Cream. We ate that very good. Uh, I had New York cheesecake flavored ice cream, so did she. And then after that, we didn't really know what to do, so uh, we decided to do whatever. Um, my friend was reading an article online from the Daily Californian. That's a newspaper that circulates around UC Berkeley and the Berkeley area. And one of the suggestions uh, on the newspaper's website for things that you can do this summer is to just hop on the F bus and just get off wherever and see where it goes. Uh, so we did that. We got on the bus and we knew that it headed towards Emeryville, but we didn't really know uh, what stops were in between. And um, I think the answer to that is, like, the stops in between Berkeley and Emeryville on the F bus is Emeryville, just different areas of Emeryville. Um, so we hopped on the bus, and we didn't really know where we, where we were going, and I was suggesting that we just get off at whatever stop seemed interesting. Uh, but then we decided to talk to some of the passengers on the bus uh, because they probably had a better sense of where they were going if they're actually on the bus. Most people don't usually go on the bus just to go to random places. Kind of kind of dangerous. <laughs> uh, so we talked to this woman, and she told me that, uh, she told us that uh, usually there's a different route that we can use to get to a shopping outlet, to a outdoor mall in Emeryville, and she told us to get off at a certain stop, and um, we listened to her. We listened to her, and we got off at a certain bus stop to transfer buses, and we ended up in a very, it was, it was a small bus, and what it appears, um, it appears that the city of Emeryville has this shuttle station that is absolutely free. And that was wonderful. So we got on this bus for absolutely free. We had a very nice bus driver. And she, we asked her how to get to the mall. And she told us that uh, the shuttle will take us directly there. So we got off the bus at the, the mall. And when we got off at that bus stop, what we saw on the, the little signpost was the letter F, meaning that the F bus goes directly to this mall. So we should not have listened to the lady on the bus. <laughs> and she, uh, We had to wait for such a long time for the shuttle to come. And we only decided to go on the shuttle um, after figuring, figuring out that it also went to the mall. So um, uh, th th these are the downfalls of listening to strangers. <laughs> but we got to our destination and we basically just walked around the mall. And it's a really, really nice place. Like, um, There's a lot of stores for clothing. Uh, me and my friend are bookworms, and I am an art worm. So we went into um, Aaron Brothers, custom framing and artwork, and we went into Barnes & Nobles. It was a two-floor Barnes & Nobles. Uh, we don't really see that any much anymore with uh, the economy forcing some of these bookstores to downsize, but it had an escalator on the inside, and that was really nice just to be inside a bookstore. And, yeah, we had a lot of fun at the mall. And then we took the F bus all the way home. Uh, the very, very next day, uh, we woke up early and uh, me and my friend and a couple other of my housemates decided to go to a Himalayan fair. And we went inside the fair. There was music. Uh, it was really, really cool to watch these um, Tibetan monks. They were chanting. And their voices were really, really, really deep. And it, it sounds like something really unearthly. Like, like, it sounds as if their voices could be some kind of instrument. It doesn't sound human at all, and it's really, really cool to listen to them sing. And 
and it was a lot of fun at the Himalayan fair. We got free chai tea at a certain location. Um, and it was really bizarre because it sounded like the music was coming from two different locations, and it was. There were the drummers in one location of the Himalayan fair, and there was an actual performance in a different area of the Himalayan fair, but the music sometimes uh, overlapped like perfectly, and I don't know if that was intended, but that was a cool effect. Like being in a 3D stereo, wherever you go um, throughout the Himalayan fair, you could hear the music because the, form- the performances were right in the middle of the fair. And I don't know, if you go around the Berkeley and the San Francisco area, which is um, a place that you can easily access if you're going to maybe UCSF or any of the colleges around the San Francisco Bay Area, there is a lot of culture there. Like, <laughs> where else can you go to a Himalayan fair? And then where else would people suggest that you just hop on a bus and go wherever it goes? Because you, you just know that wherever the bus goes, there's always going to be something to see. And it's really, really cool living in the San Francisco Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area because there's always somewhere you can just go to hang out. So, yeah. So this is just basically a lesson in... Uh, spontaneity. Uh, Sometimes we don't need to be so scripted with our lives. I know that when we're students, well, we (laughs) we get institutionalized. We're trapped inside a box all the time. Um, But once school is out, you know, like just have some fun and just see where you can go. Uh, Try out some new foods. Try out a kimchi burrito at a Korean American fusion restaurant. Drink some chai tea. Uh, Attend a Himalayan fair and see what you can find there. Right. Uh, Thanks for watching. That's basically the end of my video.